Yeah, this is a uh, Euro JP here, and right now we're looking at the one hour market, one hour time frame. And when you look at it, the distance between Kumo and Candlestick is pretty wide, right? It's got the gap here in between. And this is another confirmation of the bullishness, right? The bull market to be bullish because there's a gap in between the candlestick and also the Kumo. And in this case, we don't look at the thickness of it. We don't really look at the thickness, but rather we focus on the distance between the Kumo and also the candlesticks. So this, this is another additional information here. So I have been announced about the Kumo's direction, right? When it's going up, it's uptrend. That's our first information about Kumo. And the second information is that when the Senko Span 2 is horizontal, or Senko Span B, wh whatever you call it, Senko Span B is horizontal, that means the market is in uh, the retracement, right? In the retracement. And right now, in fact, uh, the Senko Span 2 became a little bit in parallel, horizontal here. So that means the market is retracing. So to buy on this market, ideally, the Senko Span 2 on this Kumo, below Kumo, should be moving up like this. So until then, you can wait or you can go down to the lower time frames for further confirmations to buy, right? That was the story behind. So anyways, <clears throat> um, when you see the Senko Span B is flat, that means the market is retracing backwards and this is the second information and I'm giving you the third information here, right? About Kumo. In this case, the distance between the Kumo and also the candlestick is pretty wide here, right? It's been wide for a couple of hours, right? And it still is, right? Still, it's wide here. So in this case, basically, this is a stable bullish momentum. Uh, you know, focus on that part only. So, right, in this case, right here, the Kumo is moving up. You focus on the distance between the candlestick and the Kumo. When you see the high, when you see the high first, so this was the highs, right? And also this one was a high, and also this one was a high. So this was another high, and here is another high, and here is another high here. When you look at this, which high was the most probability for the price to be going up? Which high would you still be positive for the price to be keep going up? Is actually by looking at the distance between the candlestick and also the Kumo. If you take the high here, the distance between the high and the Kumo is pretty wide, right? It's been like uh, 43 bars. And in a real chart, the Kumo won't extend towards this much because it's only moved 26 forward. So it was actually here. When you take, so when you were actually looking at the Kumo, when the price actually marked high, it was here. And the distance between the high and the Kumo here is still far away, right? It's very, very far. It's very far. And similarly, when you were watching this high and when you were looking at the Kumo, maybe somewhere here, right? But it's still high. It's still still wide, right? It's still wide. The gap is still wide. Um, and this one too, right? This one too, it was still wide. When you were looking at the market up to this momentum, right? This candlestick right here, you can still be positive about buying it. You can be still positive about buying it. But market actually retraced backwards pretty steeply here. Probably that was because of the news, this momentum, because this is one hour chart and the retracement was uh, pretty strong here, was uh, yeah more than 100 pips of retracement. So in this case, the price suddenly started to be close to the Kumo. Up to this candlestick, the distance between the candle and the Kumo was pretty wide, but when the price suddenly started to retrace, it was you know coming very closer to the Kumo rapidly here. So of course you will not be holding the uh, buy. Maybe when you see this uh, retracement, probably you will have to cut loss at the recent low here or probably at this level. But it, even if you cut the loss here, right, like right here, you can still measure the distance between this candlestick and the Kumo, right? So between this candlestick to the Kumo, it was forming right here the kumo was actually exactly on this candlestick right here so the distance between the candle and the kumo at that time was getting a bit, little bit narrow here right and as you keep watching the market you see the candlestick the gap between the candles and the kumo is getting 
tight, tighter and tighter here, as you can see. And eventually, the price actually went inside the Kumo. Yeah, again, when you were watching these highs right here, you can still be positive for the market to be going up, up to this candlestick right here. There was a possibility that the market keeps going up from this high. It can renew even higher because it's got the distance between the Kumo. However, for some reasons, uh, the market started to retrace and at that time, the distance between the candle and the Kumo is getting smaller and smaller and eventually it went, went inside of the Kumo. So the distance between the candlestick and the Kumo is actually the confirmation for the momentum of the market trend. Let's look at the pound yen daily chart and let's look at the distance between the candlestick and the Kumo here. What do you see? Uh, so far, I was talking about the distance between the candles and the Kumo. And in this case, you look, you look at the highs, right? Uh, because the Kumo is moving up. What you have to look for is these highs and the distance between the Kumo to that highs. And right now, what, what do you see right now? The distance between the candles and the Kumo. Let me just ask you here with an open question. What would you see? when you look at the distance between the Kumo and the prices. Yeah, I thought when price moves away from Kumo, it pulls back to Kumo to go to equilibrium. It will pull, pull back uh, sooner or later, especially when Senko Span 2 is becoming flat like this. That's for the retracement. That's when the candlestick will be getting closer to the Kumo. Well, there's a possibility that the candlestick might be getting closer to the Kumo but it's not always the case. The Kumo can way below the candles and the momentum keeps going up. There's a cases like that too. That's for the retracement. That's when the candlestick will be getting closer to the Kumo. Well, there's a possibility that the candlestick might be getting closer to the Kumo, but it's not always the case. The Kumo can way below the candles and the momentum keeps going up. There's a cases like that too. So what do you see now? What do you see the relationship between the candles and the Kumo here? Do you care about the Chikospan? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Exactly. It's getting closer, right? It's getting closer now. These highs, we're not talking about these candlesticks, but we're focusing on the highs right now. This was a recent high and compared to here, right? Compared to the previous high, look at the distance between the highs and the Kumo. Right now, it's getting closer, right? Definitely. It's getting closer right here. When you look at this high, actually the Kumo was forming 26 candles ahead. So that means it was, yeah, like about, about like this place, the same place around here. So when you look at the distance uh, between these highs in relation to the Kumo, it's getting closer now, right? So that means there's a possibility that the market is going inside of the Kumo here. So that's, that's the evidence right now for the retracement. Previously, when you were looking at these highs right here, it's got still the distance, right, between this high and the Kumo. I think that this was like 26 maybe. And right here, with the 26 candles right like here, still got lots of distance, right? But right now and up to here, there was still a distance between the candles and the Kumo. But when you look at this high right here, it's getting closer, obviously, right? Visually, it's getting closer. And that means the market is uh, most likely the market will be going into, into the Kumo here. There's a higher chance that it can go into the Kumo. And when you look at the Kumo right now, it's like a thread. It's like very thin. Uh, Senko Span 2 has been flat. The Kumo has been flat. So this can confirm, this can be a confirmation for the price to be going down to the Kumo. But also you can actually measure the recent highs and the distance between the highs and the Kumo. And that can further confirm you uh, that the price will be inside of the Kumo here. When the Kumo is moving down, you look at the lows and capture the distance between these lows to the Kumo. Up to this low here, it's got the distance, right? Very far from Kumo. But when you see this low here, now it's getting closer, right? Now it's getting closer. And when you see this, the market actually went inside of the Kumo, retraced backwards, right? And at that time, the Senko Span 2 was flat. But here, right? But even if the Senko Span 2 is flat, when the lows got distance between the Kumo, right? You can still be positive for the market to be keep going down. Even if you see this uh, horizontal Senko Span 2. 
So that's the difference. And that's how you can actually capture the bearish momentum, a bullish momentum by looking at the Kumo. So again, first you have to capture the direction of the Kumo, right? If it's go up or if it's going down, all right? That's a primary thing. Or if it's horizontal, you have to be able to identify the angle of the Kumo, all right? Then you look at these Senko span 2 here. You focus on this Tenko span 2. And when it's horizontal, you have to watch out for the retracement always. Because it's always retracing to for backwards, right? When the Senko span 2 is horizontal. And the difference between retracing to the upside or not is the distance between the highs and the Kumo. Or the lows and the Kumo. When it's still got the gap here in between, even if the Senko span 2 is flat, when there is still a gap here, you can still be positive for the price to be going up. But when it's flat and the highs is getting closer to the Kumo, that's when you really have to worry about the retracement uh, for the price to be going inside of the Kumo here. So this is something that you can watch out when, you when you're looking at the chart with the Kumo.